Hello, it's Tom here from Oracle Time, and today I'm here with the new Christopher Ward C1 Moonglow. With a name like Moonglow, you're probably expecting two things, a moon phase and lashings of loom, and you'd be right. This latest release from the English brand sees them switch up the often formal looking moon phase complication with a new contemporary multi-layered interpretation. At the center, two loom covered twin moons are set on a rotating disc backdrop complete with loom covered stars. As the lunar phases wax and wane, the realistically depicted moons disappear behind a semi-transparent layer, giving life to the complication. Journeying outward from the centre, you have compact loom-covered hour markers and indices, which thanks to their diminutive size, take nothing away from the centrepiece of the watch. On the outermost edge of the dial, you have date numerals, which you guessed it, are covered in loom, while a red rotating indicator aligns with the active day. Moving onto the case, the scalloped underside incorporates contrasting brushed and polished steel onto its swooping flanks, which when combined with the concave elements results in a retro, shapely look. Measuring 40.5mm in diameter, 13mm tall, and with a lug to lug of 48.5mm, it's a great size. In fact, it makes for an incredibly versatile, business casual watch. Here we have it on the Milanese strap, which is incredibly comfortable and feels really well put together. And on the underside, you have 70s style links on the clasp, which give it a really unique look. On the rear, you have an open case back, giving you a glimpse at Christopher Ward's solid JJ04 caliber. Overall, I really like the resulting watch. The case shape they have borrowed from their dressy Malveur range is a real winner and the Moonglow manages to combine retro elements with the contemporary elegance of the moon phase complication. Despite my fondness for this watch, there are a couple of design elements I would change. The red tipped second hand and red date indicator, I would also like to see them covered in loom. I would also like to see a little bit of colour introduced on the dial somewhere, as it is a little bit monochromatic for my taste. Also, the smoked layer on the dial could also benefit from being a little bit darker, giving a little bit more contrast to the phases of the moon. They're the only real qualms I have with this watch, and at a reasonable price of £1,695 on leather, or £1,725 on the Milanese strap, it's a well-priced, unique looking watch. Of course, haters will always debate the obsolete nature of the moon phase complication, but when it looks this good, who cares? Thanks for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe and let us know in the comments which watches you'd like us to review next.